What is good guys? Today I am at Daikoku Futo PA but in the daytime. And the best thing about that is there's lighting for the camera, we can film all the cars and you guys get to see them. And uh, today's actually kind of a bit of a special day. There's a whole bunch of rare exotic luxury cars as well as the awesome normal JDM stuff that you find here. So uh, let me show you around and uh, check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this as systematically as I can. Normally when I'm at Daikoku Futo PA, it's very difficult for me to kind of show you everything because I just kind of wander around, but I want to go through every lane that I can and show you everything that I can that's here in one quick walkthrough. And uh, this is pretty cool. Nice Supra here. And then that thing is insane. Damn. Ferrari boys are in town. That is cool. Far out. God, Lamborghinis are sexy. Okay, anyways, I'm already getting distracted and going in the wrong place. So we're gonna try and go through everything like aisle per aisle here and show you everything that I can that's here. Quick disclaimer, I don't know all these cars. I don't know what their models are, names and stuff like that. I really only know Nissan's, so tell me in the comment section, point them out to me, I would love to learn. This thing is cool. Um, I don't know a whole much about this car. Um, all I know is it's a rally car of some sort and you guys are gonna probably flame me in the comment section for not knowing what it is, but it's cool as hell. Nice Sparco wheel in there. And uh, this, this thing I do know what it is. This is a DeLorean, obviously. I'm a big uh, Back to the Future fan. And uh, he's got the hoverboard. What's his name's walking stick. And if you flip over to the other side, he's got Marty's uh, jacket and shoes and even the hat. It's really cool, like, just seeing one of these cars in person. I've never been able to actually look at one in person and stick my head inside it. And just obviously, the stainless steel, if you can see that texture there, the brushing, it's like no paint on it at all. It's, it's really interesting. Rear mounted engine, of course, if you didn't know. Um, from what I hear, these things are actually slow as hell. So, <laughs> um, but still, they look so cool. It's just a cool car, mainly because of Back to the Future, I guess. But what's really cool is uh, they restarted production on this. So you can uh, buy them in the States. I think they're making 10,000 or so of them. Really cool. Um, now, these are some Lotuses. That's about all I know. Sorry. <laughs> but it's pretty cool to see these. Hey, what's up? Um, they just look awesome. Kind of sucks because I know that I'd never fit in one of these and drive one around. Tall person problems. I'm going to try and ignore the Supra that's backing up because we'll get to that when we walk through that aisle. But it's just pretty cool. And obviously, we got this beautiful Jag here. Now, I didn't know about the old classic Jags until my dad started telling me about them. Um, now, he's a huge Jag fan. My dad actually loves the Mark 1s the most, um, but it's still cool to see a Mark 2 here in this good of condition. It's pretty cool. Okay. Moving on. Pretty cool. I love that he's got the cover there still. Trying to keep everything nice and cool under there. Still, another car I'd never fit in. Like, I don't think my knees would even go under the steering wheel there. Still, pretty baller. These little things are cool. Damn. Like, the shifter, like, coming out like that is so, so bizarre to me. Back in the old days. Good old Triumphs. My dad actually used to have a really old Red Triumph Spitfire, I think he said it was. Um, he showed me pictures of it when I was a young kid. And I always told myself I'd try and like buy him one of those one day when I'm like rich. <laughs> you know, like you always want to buy your dad a cool car, right? So this is um, Yasumasa Ogawa, and uh, this is his uh, 260Z. And it's pretty cool. He's got an original rally computer there, so he's able to calculate how fast he's going through his distance and the average speed and thing like that. But the coolest thing is, is this guy actually rally drives this car here in Japan. And uh, I was asking him, I was like, where in Japan do you do that? Mount Fuji, Hakone, they've got rally courses up there apparently. And uh, he drives this thing and rallies it. It's super cool. I had no idea that that thing still existed here in Japan. I really need to do some more research on that. But what's really cool is uh, obviously the car originally came with an L26, but it's been modified for an L28. Um, and he said he doesn't want to open the hood because it's all dirty because he <laughs> rarely tries it. Uh, speaks good English too. Thank you very much. Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> so uh, this Hokoska here has an RV25 swapped into it. And uh, the owner's just going to pop the hood for us real quick. This is awesome. I love it. Oh, he's even got the... Uh, 
the uh, Skyline upgraded brake kit there, the yeah. Sumitomos. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, so clean. It's NA as well. And the head is, oh, that's baller. That is so cool. Kakui. Kakui. That is so clean. Fits in there so nice. Look how tight it is with the steering box there in the back of the uh, intake van. Eh, oil filter is Oil Ah, Ah, so, 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 so. so, we were just looking at where the oil filter is relocated and the steering box and like, I'm like, isn't that, isn't that really difficult to take out? But mm, you can get in there still, which is awesome. But damn, this is such a clean swap. I love it. So good when people combine like kind of, I mean, the RV25 is still kind of considered an old engine, but old with kind of new, if newish, you get, you get my drift. And coilovers, got an upgraded head deck there. The wiper switch knobs there, he 3D printed those. That's really cool. Ah, 3D printed those as well. That's really cool. Very clean. I mean, some people like to keep these things original, but I really like it when people mix them up and kind of go kind of new technology with the RV and stuff, especially like the 26 swap. But this is so unique because he went for a 25 DE. I bet you it sounds amazing with those headers too. So good. Okay, we're getting distracted. We need to keep moving. So many cool things here. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, yeah. So we got another Hakoska here, 2000 GT. This thing looks awesome, clean as well, just like the other ones. Nice, nutty wheel. He's running uh, original brakes. Not sure what motor he's got in there, but this is a very clean example of a Hokoska as well. Love it. Moving on, we've got a Lotus, Honda Accord. Um, we're gonna just try and fly through some of these. Alfa Romeo Spider, damn. I remember when uh, like in school, I had a bunch of friends that really loved these cars. I never understood why, I just don't like them at all, but each to their own, right? That's what the car community needs to be about. Everyone wants to be unique and look good, you know, have their own cool car that they love. Over here, we got a couple more S30s. Super clean examples, look amazing. I think I've seen this one before at Nostalgic Two Days. I think this was on display there. Not much to see, unfortunately, like his bonnet's not popped or anything like that, but I love his sticker here. Speed limit 180, safely drive. <laughs> Super clean, dash looks amazing, interior looks good. Really good example. Oh man, these cars are so cool. Especially like all the interior, the leather and everything. I just love them. It is so hot in the sun right now. I'm melting, there's sweat like falling in my eyes and it stings. This is really cool. When I first saw this from the distance, I thought it was a Ken Mary, but as I got closer, I realized, holy crap, that's actually a Laurel. And uh, if you remember these, these uh, looked very similar, like, you know, to the, to the Ken Mary, the body style here. But then the, the front and the rear is completely different. Around the same type of uh, year as the Ken Mary was brought out, so. You see Nissan was very, uh, oh dude, that's cool to see here. In that time, Nissan was kind of uh, making a lot of cars in that same kind of body shape. Such a baller shape, honestly. I think, I think Nissan may have been heavily influenced by the Mustang at that time, or it was the other way around. Maybe the Mustang was influenced by Nissan. I don't know. But you can definitely tell around that, that age, like people were just copying a whole bunch of uh, manufacturers everywhere, left, right, and center. There's some pretty cool cars over there. We'll get to those in a bit. This video is gonna get dragged out really long. I, I, I can just tell. All right, let's, uh, let's go through these uh, supercars because I don't know anything about them. We got a Lamborghini. We got a Ferrari. And got another Ferrari here. It always just, it's crazy when you look at these things, carbon fiber brakes. We had a guy here before. Um, I'm actually here with Matthias, the owner of Downshift. And um, his friend uh, brought him here in an SLR. And I was talking to him, I'm like, how expensive is servicing this car? 
and he was saying that it's uh, 60 grand when he gets to his 80,000 kilometer service and if he needs to replace the rotors it's 80 grand just for the rotors it's crazy gives you an idea of just like not only do you need to be able to afford the car that you're buying it but you also like got to be able to afford maintaining it so cool to see these uh these hondas out here these guys obviously must be doing some grip running i love the dildo shifter naughty wheel it's just cool I, I, I literally am a really big Civic fan, especially the hatches. I really want to get one one day for a little like uh, grip machine. This thing's cool with the whole bumper tuck like that. Awesome. Damn, that shift knob's pretty crazy. It's cool, roll caged out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. These little NDs are everywhere. Lots of people getting into them. Over there, another ND. We'll ignore the, uh, the Volkswagens. <laughs> Some more NDs. McLaren. These things are cool. Lots of people do them up with uh, the whole Atasha stuff and VIP. Old Crown, old Merc. Oh, sweet. 300 ZX there. Little Daihatsu. All right, let's move to the next aisle. Otherwise, this video is going to go on for like an hour. It's pretty cool. Honda Civic. Maserati. This is so cool. These over fenders are dope. God, this thing's awesome. Completely stripped out in there. He's got a line lock kit there as well, so he must be uh, into. Oh man, look at his parts. Like alternators galore there. Two alternators. He's running a Power FC. What the hell is in this thing? Okay then. Um, yeah, this is this is freaking cool, man. Caged out whole box full of anime uh, sorry manga that's pretty cool damn I just love these over fenders they're so awesome I really every time I see a Civic like this it just makes me want to buy one even more definitely something that's happening on the future of our channel is getting a Civic for grip running and fun <sighs> another Maserati another Civic Another Civic. Okay, we're seeing too many Civics now. I'm going to uh, end up wanting to buy one even more. So this thing's cool. Uh, he had his hood popped before and he's got a whole bunch of custom work done to the V8 supercharged engine in there. It like extended the baffling and stuff. It's crazy. I, I can't describe it because I can't show you it. But this guy, I'm pretty sure, either races C1 or actually hits the track and does it hard. Because look at all the rock chipping down here. And it's not only there, like if you look at his mirrors and stuff, he's got really high deep rock chips here. So you know he races this. And I mean, his Brembo brake kit is insane as well. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's uh, into his racing. Continuing on, we've got a beautiful M30. I saw this last at Tatsumi PA, which is really cool. His dash is all uh, sheet metal that he's like boxed up and made to suit. It's actually really unique the whole car is completely stripped out it's totally like set up for racing it's awesome and the fitment looks great as well all around it's a super nice m30 i just love that he's got that huge switch in there hopefully you can see it in the camera that's his horn button the really long one it's cool carbon fiber hood looks great i think i'm going to skip all of these uh they're pretty uh Pretty normal cars. I'm sure someone's gonna get offended about that, but we gotta keep moving. Damn, another Civic. Oh my God, the want is so strong for this. Yeah, this is like exactly what I want. Something nice like this. Just little, fun, light, agile car to just smash grip in. Really cool. Oh, damn, that's nice. Now this is cool. You don't see many of these here, obviously. That is sick. So cool. God. The wood and everything. I think the best thing about that is if ever that, that gets old, you can probably remake that really easily, right? And replace it. It's really cool, little Austin. Another Civic, damn it. Ferrari. Honda. Oh, this is cool. The Leopard or Leopard, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but these things are cool. They came with, uh, there you go, yeah, there's the badge. 
Uh, these things were the old cop cars. So you can see he's got the old radio and everything in there. So this is what like the detectives and stuff and the undercover cop cars used to use here in Japan. And uh, they're uh, the, the uh, what is it, the VR, the 30, hang on, give me a second, give me a second. It's the same engine that was in the 300 ZX with the suit, with the turbo. Um, 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 the VG30 turbo engine, there we go, I remembered it. <laughs> um, this is cool. Liberty Walk R35 GTR. He's bagged up at the moment so he can make it over everything. Running Toyo tires. Damn, okay, so he actually has a lot of money to spend. I mean, if the 35 with the Liberty Walk kit didn't uh, give you that impression already. He's running the Toyo tires. Imagine all the people living life in peace. That's, that's cool. Itchy Liberty Walk. That's so cool. I gotta send this uh, video to cut those on later. Another Civic, damn it, boys. We're gonna have to get a Civic. The want is so strong. So a female owns this. Um, I think, what's that channel on YouTube? Tokyo uh, something, Tokyo something. And they did a feature on this woman driver for a Civic that does grip racing. That's her. So that's pretty cool. Moving on. Oh my God, the Honda stance is, it's killing me guys. The Civics just look so good to me. Oh God, another one. Okay, if there's anything we're gonna learn from this uh, video is that I love Civics and I really want one really bad. Maybe I can buy one for the wife for her first car. That can be the excuse. And then uh, I'll turn it into a grip car. That's a good at playing boys, help me with that. It's got a miracle cross brace, like genuine miracle cross brace. That's freaking cool. Moving on, more Lotuses. There we go, JZ80 Supra. You can tell I like really appreciate the Japanese cars, the JDM cars over the uh, things, you know, luxury cars or, or uh, exotics like the Lotuses and stuff. 32 four door. See, I'm more attracted to this than this. I know, call me crazy, right? Some generic normal cars, you know. Man, that thing's got some power. You can hear the dual uh, plated clutch. That's cool. That's really cool. Nice, tasteful S2000. Moving on to the next aisle now, which is now like an hour later. <laughs> this video is going to be so long. I'm sure you're going to like it though, because you're getting to see so much of Daikokufu.pa. PA. Um, when it's not pitch black and you can't see anything. Another Honda, damn it. I gotta stop looking at the Hondas. Okay, I'm ignoring all Civics from now, unless they're really good. Look at that, nice little Nissan March or Nissan Micra. We're ignoring that. <laughs> Another Ferrari. There's a, a car that we will ignore next to this uh, 33 with some drift damage. Not sure who owns that. Moving over to this aisle now is where a whole bunch of bikes are, if you can see. And uh, so they're, they're all meeting here today, it seems. And it's really cool to just get a look at all of these. But before we get to the bikes, let me focus on things I do know about. R35 GTR Nismo Edition. These things, this is my wife's, this is May's dream daily car. Believe it or not, she loves these things. So the pressure's on for me to get one as a daily. Um, cool, RX-8, nice yellow. I'm gonna kind of bounce between here and here real quick. So we've got the RS Turbo, so this should have the FJ20 engine in there. And he's running 33 GTR wheels, and I actually love how they sit on this car. It looks really cool. Like I said, I'm a big fan of mixing kind of newer and older things together. Loving the Nardi Classic. And then we bounce back over to here. Bam, another one. But this is the Coupe Edition. Silhouette, there's no, uh, like, what do they call that? Uh, pillar, no pillar there. So this thing's like even cooler than that one because that's the four-door one. And it's just so clean. Looks identical to some of the ones I saw at Nostalgic Two Days. Really cool. Running the Hoshi nose, yeah. It's just, it's so cool to see people that still run these cars here and keep them in this good condition. So that'll be running the FJ20 Turbo as well. We've got another DR30 here, four-door, super clean. And this guy, like these guys don't have aircon. They were rocking up here and they were coming out of the car with towels on them, wiping the sweat off them. So it's, it's really cool to see that these guys made the effort to come out here on a day when it is, let's find out actually how hot it is right now. Right now it's saying it's 33 degrees and that is not in the sun. So I'm in the sun and it feels like probably 36, 38. It's insane. Anyways, really sick wheels. And of course, He's got one of these uh, purple flashing emergency lights. These were used in Japan when you would pull over to indicate that like you got a punctured tire and you're changing your tire and stuff like that. 
uh, pretty cool. Obviously, they were taken on board from the Bosozoku uh, clan, like guys and their bikes and everything as a way of just rebelling against the police and things like that. Really cool. And a quick little plug, we sell these on the Itaka Garage website. I'll put a little link up there so you guys can purchase them. Anyways, loving the classic Nissan theme to this car. Really cool. I really love these old ones. Okay, moving on. Uh, there's nothing kind of that stands out here. These little Subaru K vans are awesome. I'm gonna try and rush through the rest of this. So the majority of the rest of this uh, aisle is kind of like all normal type of daily cars, but there's still a cool legacy. This thing looks awesome. I gotta, I gotta uh, show a lot more Subarus on the channel. I know you guys have been asking for it. Um, I just need to learn them more. <laughs> but anyway, it's pretty cool. Nice modest mods. He's got a radar detector there. Nice boost controller and stuff. Looks sick. Oh, Swicky, he's got the factory Momo wheel. That's kind of cool. Over here, I'm not sure what car this is, but it looks like it's got some kind of like 1J VVTi motor. Clonal engine on this car. So this is pretty unique. I didn't know this. I was just talking to the owner, but this is a 1JZ GE. So it's the non-turbo. It's kind of like the 2JZ GE, but it's uh, got some nice headers on there too. But it's really cool. I didn't know that they released a 1JZ that was VVTi and non-turbo like this. I guess it's kind of in these uh, VIP type cars, but what's even awesome is I've seen this engine in all of the old taxis that I want to get and turn into a drift taxi. So that means we could easily swap a 2JZ in and get massive boosts and set them up. But anyways, that's really cool. There you go. So those guys were cool. They just all subscribed to the YouTube channel right off the bat. Rad dudes. Um, moving on to this aisle, we're going to hit head to where all the bikes are. Um, pretty much the rest of this stuff here. There's not much it. Hang on. Hang on. We're gonna we're gonna break the rule We're gonna jump the aisle because I just found an Atasha car and it's a Subaru just as I was saying I need to show more Subarus on the channel Yeah, come on unleash the inner weave guys. This is awesome Love these slap stickers <laughs> Gosh, this is great I'm sorry, but I love Atasha cars uh, and that's mainly just because I love the fact that these people aren't scared to be unique and do whatever the hell they want with it. And I think that's unique. I really do. I really think that's something special that we could learn from in the car community and Western culture in the world. He doesn't care what anyone thinks. He loves his car. It's his, you know, like, that's awesome. And that's how everyone needs to be. Super cool. Okay, moving on. We gotta go. This, this video has taken a long time. I wanted to show you my face for a second. I, it feels like it's completely drenched in sweat. I know my shirt is wet everywhere from the sweat. It is so hot. And uh, all that's in my mind is this is gonna be good content for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. And I know I said I wasn't gonna show any more Honda Civics, but can you blame me for looking at this? If this doesn't sell the Honda Civic grip car to me, I don't know what will. And I've already made the decision that I'm definitely getting a Civic as a grip car, but hot damn. This is insane. The amount of attention to detail in here that the, the owner's gone through, like his block is painted gold, everything in there. Um, all the purple and the pink eccentrics and blue eccentrics, like the red glitter painted intake manifold, the purple booster, like this is ridiculous. This is awesome. The attention to detail he went on this is just awesome. So clean, love it. And his interior looks awesome. See, I don't care about the interior. It needs to be stripped out, racing seats, full cage, good to go. But damn, this is nice. So good. Damn it, they're everywhere, guys. They're everywhere. Okay, so things are getting heated up here. All the bike guys are leaving and making a whole bunch. If you don't know, Daikoku Futo is in the middle of surrounded of all the highways here. So as everyone leaves, they rev the crap out of their engine. You can see the parking sign up there so that everyone knows they're leaving. So it, it's really cool. I have to admit, I love it. So we're going to try and get to the bike section before they all leave. Yeah, a whole bunch of them have left. That's what that noise was we heard. But there's some really nice old Kawasaki bikes that were here. And uh, there's not many left, unfortunately. Damn, you can really hear them. So cool. I wish I knew more about bikes as well. I really do. But there's some cool old Kawasaki's here. Damn, look at the ITVs. And the throttle body carburetors on that looks so cool. Awesome. All right. Damn, hear them all going up there. Like they've all left. This whole place, if you saw in the video just before, was full of bikes. So cool. Ah, oh, yes. So awesome. <laughs> oh man. I need to get on the back of one of these one day and go for a ride. 
So cool. So cool. So the law in Japan states that you can't have a second person on the back on the highway. So when you see guys doing twins on the highway like that with doubles, it's actually illegal. So cool to be able to see guys like that. You gotta appreciate some good Harleys, man. So cool. Man, it's been such a good time. All right, guys, and with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I really hope you enjoyed this daytime uh, Dakokufuto video. I definitely need to come out here more on Sundays and Saturdays because there's definitely some cool events that happen here. Uh, for the rest of the day, I'm actually gonna be hanging out with Matthias. There'll be another video that we'll be making because uh, I think we're going to uh, the Nismo Mori factory in Nissan headquarters, so we'll do a vlog there as well. Uh, because this video is just dead. There's just so much content here that I filmed that I know it's gonna be more than 10 minutes And you know what the YouTube algorithms like and why not two videos in one day sounds great, right? Okay enough talking. Thanks each for watching hit up all my social media down in the description If you want to send me anything cool PO boxes there join the discord as well guys. I really recommend that and uh, Yeah, I'll catch you in the next video guys Jamatane